Thank you for watching our film. It tells the story of a one-day event in September 2012 at Tablehurst Farm in Sussex. The event was designed to celebrate cooperation over the last two years between three different food growing communities. Communal food growing is a rapidly expanding social activity and the Arts and Humanities Research Council funded a project to examine how quite different food growing projects could use creative activities to share their experiences and benefit from working together. The three communities you're going to hear about are Spitalfield City Farm in East London, the Young Women's Peer Health Project who have an allotment in Manchester, and Tablehurst and Plorhatch Community Farm, which is England's largest owned community farm. The communities chose how the celebratory day was designed, and each of them decided to make a scarecrow to symbolise the meaning of their food growing community. Scarecrows, of course, have for hundreds of years not only played a practical role in the countryside, but also, as our researchers found, have often been used to characterise many aspects of rural life. The scarecrows were constructed by each community separately, and then brought together on the day to provide a special shared moment. There were many other activities taking place on the day, such as herb scarecrow making and storytelling, which meant members of the public could also take part in the celebration events. I think it meant a lot of things to different people on the farm. What it meant to the farm as a whole was a signal of its connections to other farming and food communities. And, uh, uh, you know, and farming is quite an individual and isolating type of occupation, so events like this when people come together are very important. Mm. The stories also are important to the life of communities, that this community, Tablehurst, tells its history through stories. Mm. And these were examples of stories that were told about the farm. But equally then the event itself becomes a story that's told. People that we maybe perhaps didn't engage with before really started to engage with Mrs Jolly Bogle and it was one of the young children um, of the school with special needs that we work with that came up with the name so that makes her quite special as well. And she really reflects, especially the growing that goes on in the Coriander Club, she completely reflects that. Our name, how she looks, how she's dressed. And it was really nice taking her along to the event at Tablehurst to meeting the other scarecrows. So we've got those links and from those links as things have come out of it, for example, working in the future, hopefully with Tablehurst to um, grow kodus that we grow here at the farm and then to teach them how to grow the kodus and have them growing out at Tablehurst Farm as well, be fantastic. Had a visit down from the some of the members of the Licht group, or the Young Women's Group, sorry, in Manchester, that was just really fantastic and I hope they do come back again because we'd love to see lots of different information. Our allotment has been running about six years now so we've had um, quite a few young women and an older woman as well involved in, in growing. Um, so we've, we've seen it through some different stages from just being a, a kind of a patch of weeded and brambled area to actually kind of a, a thriving patch of, of land um, that we can, we can grow things in. So um, we, take, we take time to go down um, and, and harvest what we've, we've got. People have taken different ideas. Some people have have been, you know, drawn something on and and then protected that, um, and that's come on. Other people have knitted um, things. Other people have um, created like veg and stuck that on. Others have put a panda face or a cat face. Yeah, so it's different things to represent different people and and um, yeah, what they like or have some some different meanings as well um, for for the project. So today we're going to be making um, herb scarecrow planters, which will be um, small little mini scarecrows made with um, heads, heads which are pots, and then planted up with herbs which have been grown at Tablehurst. Um, and then people will be able to take these plants home and plant them in their gardens. So it'll be a nice, nice object to have, but also a way of growing some herbs. And this is kind of in honour of the three scarecrows which are going to meet here at Tablehurst today. So there's one from Spitalfield City Farm, one from um, Licht Project in Manchester, and one from Tablehurst. And the three of them are going to have a big meeting in the barn and exchange some gifts and um, say hello to each other. I suppose the the plants are the, uh, to do with home growing but also to do with making connections in communities so we've kind of over this whole project been looking at the way that growing can, can um, link people together and can, can join people um, 
in a in a combined force really and so the scarecrow is about about those connections and about about making those those new friendships really <laughs> It all began one morning. It was PC Wurzel Gumstrip's first day at Tablehurst Farm. Nobody was sure where he'd come from or how he came to be there, except maybe his three good friends, Stuart, Terry and Andrew. And they weren't telling anybody. Oh yeah. But today, they'd given him his clothes, they'd given him his welly boots, and they'd felted his hat for him. Uh, hello everyone, my name's Peter, and this is a ceremony. And it's to give thanks for the friendship, the working relationship between Licht, Spitalfields Farm and Tablehurst Farm. And we gather to reflect on the achievements and the success of the groups, and there have been many. And we gather to tell our stories, to share questions, perhaps some answers. But most importantly, we come to celebrate our shared love of the land. The celebration ended with the three scarecrows exchanging gifts on behalf of their communities. The gifts that were exchanged included food and cookery books produced by the Bangladeshi women in East London, jam made by the young women in Manchester using produce from their allotment, and a series of stories that had been produced about life on Tablehurst Farm. The cooperation between the three communities has revealed some of the benefits and challenges of food grain projects working together, and plenty of further collaboration is planned in the future. The day provided then a valuable moment not only of celebration, but also a chance to identify what worked when communities are connected together through creative activity.